It's a pretty common problem in fish keeping to have an evil fish, a fish that is wreaking havoc on your aquarium, beating up other fish and possibly even killing other fish in your tank. The question is, what do we do about it? Well, that's what we're talking about in today's video. Hey folks, it's John with KG Tropicals. In this video, we're gonna talk about these two peacock cichlids in my 75 gallon. These two fish have been a problem since I got them, and I've done every trick I know to get them to behave. When you have an evil fish, the first thing that you wanna ask is why? Why is it behaving that way? What is causing it to wanna to kill all of these other fish in the tank? Now the two fish that we're talking about here, the fish that I had, I no longer have, are African cichlids, but everything that we're gonna talk about is pretty much gonna to apply to any kind of fish you have. In the case of these two little jerks, I looked at my tank and said, why would these fish be so mean? Well, there's a lot of potential reasons for it, but we're gonna look at three main causes of aggression. The first would be fighting over girls. I don't think I need to explain why they would fight over girls. If you have a female fish in the tank, the males will relentlessly try to mate with them while also fighting all of the other males off so he can have her to himself. Well, this tank has all males in it, so we can check that off the list. The second thing is territory. The fish claims an area as theirs and they'll defend it to the death. The fix for this type of aggression is pretty easy. Just redecorate the tank. If you move things around in the aquarium, it kind of resets things and confuses the fish into thinking they're in a whole new place and the hope would be that they would forget about that spot that they claimed as theirs. I have redone this tank several times. Pretty much once a week when I do a water change, I would redecorate the tank and it would still not change a thing. Those two little jerks would still be constantly battling everybody else in the tank. So what now? Well, we've come to the last of the three things and that's hierarchy. Fish, particularly African cichlids, develop a hierarchy in the tank where one of the males becomes the alpha and everyone else falls in line and crowns him the king. Well, we hope they do. If this happens where one male takes over the tank and everyone else falls in line, it's a good thing and hopefully everything will be peaceful for you, but... Sometimes there's a beta that just can't seem to fall in line. Of course, I'm not talking about a beta fish, I'm talking about an alpha and a beta. In this tank, the beta would be this red shoulder. This is a fish that wants the crown and will not give up until it's his. So what happens then and how do we change that? Well, if you have multiple tanks, that's pretty easy. Just take the beta out and put them in a separate tank and everything should settle down. But what if you're like me and you only have the one tank that you can use for African cichlids, what do you do? Well, that is when you would try the timeout method. A timeout would be where you remove the fish from the general population, you put them somewhere by themselves and hope to reset their attitude. This could be another tank if you have one, but like I said, I don't, so I chose the next best thing, which is a breeder box. I'd put them in there, leave them for a week or so, and try again, and see if they'll behave. I've even employed both the timeout and redecorating trick at the same time have them in a breeder box for a week, do a water change, redecorate, and put them back in. If you've seen any of my recent videos, you've seen two breeder boxes up in the corner. I've had both of these fish in and out of these breeder boxes for weeks. Every time I've tried this, they have instantaneously gone right back to wanting to kill each other and wanting to kill the other fish in the tank. And it's just, it's a disaster. They never stop. They are relentless. So. I've tried everything. I'm kind of out of options here. What do I do now? Don't freak out. I'm not going to flush them and I'm certainly not going to kill them. But the time has come. I have to get rid of these fish. And for that, there's a couple options. If you have a friend that's a fish keeper, try giving them away to him or her. But I just want to warn you, tell your friend this fish is a problem in your tank before you hand them over. I don't think I need to explain why. But once again, what if you don't have that option? What if you don't have an African cichlid keeper or somebody that keeps the type of fish that you do local near you that you can give these fish to? Well then, you really have no other choice but to do what I'm gonna do, which is take them back to the fish store that I bought them from. 
most fish stores will take fish back from you and sometimes you'll even get lucky and they might even give you some money for them or even a store credit. I don't usually go into the store counting on this though. I just take them in and say, hey, you'd be doing me a favor by taking these fish away from me. I, I don't need anything back in return. But sometimes you'll get lucky. Just don't get greedy and walk into a fish store and say, hey, give me X amount of dollars for these. They're probably going to tell you to take a hike. Just go in there with the attitude that they are helping you and if they give you some money, it's a bonus. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And the fish are now on the passenger seat in my work van here. We're gonna head up to Beltway Aquarium and hopefully they'll take them back. We'll have to see. So that was it. That was what I decided I was gonna do. I was gonna take them back to Beltway Aquarium, which is where I purchased them from a while back. You can go back in my videos and see my trip to the fish store to get those. Uh, I decided I was just gonna go ahead and take them back to them. I wanted to get a bunch of footage of it, but the problem was it was a Saturday when I went in there. It was extremely busy. That store is very, very tight. You, you, it, it's hard to even navigate through the store. If one person's coming this way, you kind of have to turn to the side. It, it's tough to get video footage in there, but I ended up taking them back in there. They willingly took them and he even offered me some money for them. He didn't offer me cash money, but he said, hey, I'll give you a discount if you buy some more fish. And I said, okay, well, that's cool. I wasn't expecting that, but you know, if you wanna do that, that's awesome. So uh, he, I guess, likes the fact that I did a video praising his shop a couple of months ago. But anyway, they didn't have anything that particularly jumped out at me that I wanted to get while I was there. I wasn't going there to get fish. I was going there to get rid of fish. So it was gonna have to take something very special for me to wanna go ahead and get more fish that day. So I just, I looked around briefly, got a little bit of video footage of some of the tanks, but there wasn't any fish that I wanted to bring home with me. And I told him, I said, um, you know, I'm not worried about it. He said, well, we've got another shipment coming in uh, next week, so maybe check back later and I'll get you on the other end. So, hey, cool. So there you go. If you have an evil fish in your tank, try redecorating the tank. If that doesn't work, try the timeout method. Hopefully you have multiple tanks. Most African cichlid keepers do. I'm just the idiot that doesn't. If you have multiple tanks, put them in a timeout in another tank or try the breeder boxes like I did. Uh, if none of that works, then you have to get rid of the fish unless you want there to be chaos nonstop and keep having fish die. I had probably seven fish die because of those two fish bickering at each other all the time. And I was not gonna tolerate that anymore. So if it comes to that, you have to get rid of them and you have a couple options for getting rid of them. Give them to a friend, take them back to the fish store, whatever works best for you. But for God's sakes, don't just go throwing them in a lake or a pond or a river, whatever. So thank you so much for watching this. This was uh, not exactly a fun video, but it's one of those things that fish keepers frequently go through, especially African cichlid keepers. So I figured it was worth documenting on video. Even though I didn't really do a good job documenting it, I just talked about it. But still, you understand what I mean. So, But to update you here a little bit, before we sign off, the tank is doing absolutely fantastic now. I mean, the fish are living in there, very happy, it's very peaceful, and while I'm sitting at my desk, I don't hear fish splashing around all over the place behind me. So it's made it, made it very nice and quiet in here while I'm editing all of my 10 Things episodes. But while we're on the topic of 10 Things, folks, if you haven't checked out that series yet, what's, what are you doing? Check it out. We're having so much fun with that. I'll put a link up here, I guess, or up here. I don't know which side it's going to be on. But check that out. We're having so much fun with it. If you like this kind of content, subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any of our videos, we're putting them out Sundays and Tuesdays, and once a month, we live stream. So, having all kinds of fun. Thank you once again. Thanking you for the fourth time for watching, and I look forward to seeing you on Sunday for the next 10 Things episode.